Hi, Katie from Tin Shingle here and doing a special broadcast for someone special in the audience. And wait till they pop on for a second. But I'm talking about facing your fears. I just did a, a free live webinar at Tin Shingle. We do it every Wednesday at noon. Tune in. But a line of questioning came up in Twitter after. And the question was about how do I face my fears? And I'm going to give an answer. I'm going to give a trick that I talked about at the beginning of the webinar that my friend Catherine may have missed because she tuned in a couple minutes into the webinar. And this one was um, at the very beginning. So Catherine, you might have missed it. So I'm going to show you. I've recreated my scene of my example to show you <laughs> a way to like prep your mind for identifying, um, face, identifying what your fear is so that you can face your fear. Because if you know what your fear is, you know what's causing you anxiety, then you can kind of like digest it and come up with a solution for it, right? So let me see what she said. Getting, Catherine said to me, getting specific about the fear might just help me get specific about the solutions. Yes. So here's, here's what I did today. Earlier on the webinar at Tin Shingle, which you'll be able to get the recording at tinshingle.com forward slash classes. But I showed people in the beginning two tricks, two examples of tricks to like trick your mind to identify a fear or identify something that's causing you blockage. Blockage, fear, it could all be the same thing. Hi, Dinah, she's talking to me. So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you what I mean. Here we go. Okay, we're looking at my office. This was in my example today during the webinar. It was in the beginning to like set you up for how to identify a problem. That's my dog. All right, I was saying that this is my office and I'd come in yesterday to um, go to work and like I didn't want to go to work, but I, I was really excited to do what I was doing, but I did not want to sit there. I felt like I, I, I walked and then I'm like, no, I'm gonna go over here and clean my kitchen. Like, that's not right. So I said, okay, and that's, that's it. In the beginning of the webinar, I was saying, this is how you can identify your blockage. You come here and you're like, I don't wanna go there. And you turn, okay, stop right there. This is your moment. Why are you turning? Why are you turning right now? Because that is gonna be that feeling of turning away and not wanting to face it. And face what? What is it? There's something in your body that you're not wanting to do. So what is that? So I, I had to stay here, not do my dishes because I work at home. And I'm like, what the heck? What is wrong? Why don't I want to sit here? What is keeping me from sitting here? Do I really, really want to work? In my head, I said, I would rather work in my kitchen at my butcher block table right there. And you know what? That's fine. It's clean. I cleaned it. That chair is actually uncomfortable, so I kind of really did not want to work here. But like, why? Why am I banishing myself to the kitchen? Go back, go back to the scene of the of the blockage. Okay, I keep staring at black cords. <laughs> this is silly. I don't like those. I don't like black cords on the floor. Well, that's easy. What if I get rid of them? Okay, I can do that. This is a cord to my printer. I use it all the time, but I had not put it away. Its system is to live right there. It was not in its system. Okay, gone. What's this black cord? What, it's to my scanner. I never use this scanner. What the heck, why is it here? Why is it taking up space in my plug? Gone, this is going away. What even is this? My scanner's still on. Holy cow, I just unplugged something that, I don't even know what that is. It's just a, it's a cord to nowhere. So at my scanner is still on sucking power. I don't even want it on. I'm just going to unplug it just to save the world. Okay. Do I feel better? Oh yeah, it feels a lot better. Isn't that silly? That was my blockage that I didn't even know that was my blockage. My blockage was, um, <laughs> you're tweeting me. You're funny. You just, Catherine just tweeted me and I saw it on my phone. You can comment in here, Catherine, you know, just tap your screen. Or maybe I can't see. My camera's being weird. I don't know who's actually in here. None of your names came up. But anyway, yeah, I those black cords caused me blockage. And um, Catherine just asked me where, I think, she asked me where do I get the energy. And I don't know, I did have um, a cup and a half of coffee today, but hi. But, uh, you know, I don't know. But you know what? I'll tell you where I get the energy, Catherine. 
because like this is my job and I want this to be my job. I want this to pay for my house. I want it to, this is my job. That's where I get the energy. I want control of my destiny. My destiny is online right now. I seem to be a marketer of stuff online. I seem to like helping people, training people, empowering people, kind of like it. Um, but this is what I got to do in the world to survive. It's a survival instinct. So you just tap right into your little survival instinct and um, find the black cord. So that is my, that's what I meant in my tweet to you when I said, find your black cord. What is it? <laughs> that was a really easy one. I just removed it. It was gone. So that was my blockage. Could have been a fear. I could have overanalyzed that big time of like, I don't know why I didn't want to sit at the desk, but it's just the cords. So if you've been commenting, I really appreciate it, but I can't see anything because nothing's Periscope. The comments aren't happening. So I'm not ignoring you. They're just not there. Um, but anyway, have a great rest of your work day. I'm going to focus. I'm going to get to my list now. I have a lot of little list items to do. I'm going to get to those and get back to my work day. And thanks for connecting. And I hope that that analogy helped. Find your black cord and move it. Move it out of the way. Bye.